Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Virgo love prediction reading for June 10th through June 16th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, kind, loving, sweet Virgos. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Virgos? Let's see Virgos, what you got going on? Show me spirit guides. The tower. The world. Ooh. Seven of cups. The fool. And the hermit. That's you, Virgo, showing up in your own reading. Well, let me tell you this, Virgo. Whomever I'm reading for, let me tell you, straight up. Um, <laughs> the tower card means that it's it's over, it's done, it's complete. Whatever you've been through, whatever you were going through, hey, you said enough. It's just enough. I, I, you know, this, this whole reading right now is just about enough. I've had enough with this, whoever this idiot is, whoever I've been dealing with. It's like enough. You've ended a cycle here with him. This world card is next. That means that this whole cycle of going back and forth with him, up and down, in and out, no more. It's done. You've said enough. You have said enough. Now, let me say this. This is what, what I see. You Not only did you say enough, you also said with the seven of cups, hey, it's all about me because it's saying that now you have options. When you were with him, you had no options. In other words, you were loyal, you were faithful. But whatever he did, you blew this up. You ended it for him. And you know, it was an angry ending, but not so much angry at him. I think you were more angry with yourself for putting this energy into someone that's just a flipping idiot. Because I don't see any goodness with this man. I see no goodness with this man. But let me tell you this. You know, he doesn't have to worry about it anymore because guess what? You told him I'm done. You, you just totally blew it up. I mean, there is no more nothing. It's like he doesn't even exist to you anymore. But you know, it takes a long time for a Virgo to get to that point. But once that Virgo gets to that point, it's very hard to come back. Um, Virgo, it's very hard to come back. But the Seven of Cups is in the middle of your reading. That means that, hey, you're about to dip it and do it. And hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying you're about to get, your, get, get it on. Because you know what? You've been tied down for so long with an idiot. You're ready to get it on. The full card is next, which is like, hey, that's a new beginning. And this whole reading to me is about you have a new beginning, a new lease on life, a new lease on love, a new lease on you. It's all about you now. The hermit card is here too. And the hermit card does represent a Virgo sun sign. And that hermit card is just about looking inside yourself, gaining perspective, getting wisdom, knowledge. And you know what? It's just like, hey. To me, for this, for you, it's like looking for that, the next thing, but making sure that you don't do what you've done in the past. Whatever you've done in the past, you're like, no, I won't do that again. That hermit card is introspection. It's, it's looking inside yourself. It's like figuring out what next, what did I do wrong, and guess what? I won't do it again because you will never, ever deal with an idiot like you had before. I'm just saying, don't get upset with me, whomever I'm, I'm reading for. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and I don't think you're going to get upset with me, but I'm just saying you will never, ever do this. Take waste your time on someone that did not accept you, that was not um, faithful to you as well, because um, you're just done. I don't even know. You just you you just are done. That's all I have to say. Enough. So let me see. Give me three to five minutes. I am going to clarify the reading, Virgo. Let's see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. What additional information do the spirit guys want you to know? about where you are now, about what has happened. Let's see. Sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. Let's see. Why is the tower here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the tower here for my Virgos? Why is the tower here for Virgos? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the tower here for Virgos? Oh, queen of wands. 
Now, when I see my Queen of Wands, if you listen to my readings, Queen of Wands, first of all, is uh, that's my wifey card. So either you were wifey, and I'm going to say this, I think you were either you were wifey or you were a significant other. You had been in a long-term relationship. But nonetheless, a Queen of Wands energy is all of, is about, Queen of Wands gets what she wants. Queen of Wands walks in the room, people notice her. Queen of Wands is she commands she commands she gets what she wants she's not afraid to take risks she does what she wants queen of wands for me is wifey but i also say that you are this energy that you have as well now after this blow up after this blow up this is a blow up for a glow up i'm just gonna be very honest it's a blow up for a glow up you know i'm just saying after this you're taking the initiative to do what you want to do and like I said, you could have been a significant other. You could have been married to this person. Or, like I said, you could have been in a long-term relationship with them. So let's see why the world card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the world card here? Show me spirit, guys. Oh, well, what did I say? Thank you, spirit, guys. The death card is here. The death card can represent a Scorpio sun sign. But the death card is about a transformation, and you definitely are changing. It's about a change. It's like you needed to change. It's time to move on. That's what the death card is about. It's about transformation. It's about, and here's this, it's over the world card. It's like it's ending a cycle. Whomever I'm reading for, you're ending a cycle. You're no more. That's what that death card is. It's a transformation. It's change. It's change. So let's see why the seven of cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the seven of cups here for my Virgos? Show me spirit, guys. Well, King of Wands. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm saying was was showing to me right now. See, here's the deal. You know, I don't understand these men. I don't. King and Queen of Wands in this is reading to me means it's a wife, a husband and wife, a husband and wife. And so the King of Wands is the Seven of Cups is over this King of Wands. Now when I see the Seven of Cups, that means options. That means options to me. That means that this man, whomever you were with has always had other options. And I'm going to be very honest with you, but when I see it here too, for you, it's your turn to have options. That's why you blew, blew this up. It's your turn to have options. He's had options. It's your turn to have options. Absolutely. That is exactly what I see here. Um, I see the king and the queen of wands. I see this as a husband and a wifey. And let me say, he's always had options. If it's not a, a husband and a wife, it is a long-term relationship. You've lived with him. You've been with him for a, 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 a substantial amount of time. But he's always had options, but now it's your turn to have options because you blew this up. Oh, yeah, he's always had options. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why he won't have them anymore with you. <laughs> this is, like I said, a blow-up for a glow-up because you're... You've changed. You're making it all about you now. It's no longer about him or this marriage or whatever you've been in. So let's see why the food card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the food card here for my Virgos? Five of Wands. Yeah, see, here's the deal. That Five of Wands is all about fights, conflict, conflict. That's all you have with him. Now, now see, this is someone he wants to hold on. He wants to hold on, but you said, I'm going to get I'm out of this. You want the new beginning. He wants to hold on. Like I said, this is a blow up for a glow up before you, for you, you're tired of being in this position with him. And he's, he doesn't, he wants to hold on. He's conflict. He's fighting you over this. He's fighting you because he knows you're, you're ready to move on. You're not, Hey, you've already, your mindset is already on the new beginning. You haven't even thought about him. He, he knows that, but there's been fights and conflicts because he wants to hold on. See, you know, people don't miss something until it's gone. And he sees now. Absolutely. He sees now. Let's show me spirit, guys. Why is the hermit card here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the hermit card here? Why is the hermit card here? Show me spirit, guys. Six of swords. Told you. You're moving from peace to peace. You don't care. You don't care. He can hold on or try to hold on as much as he wants. Doesn't matter. You're out of this. You're done. You're moving to peace. That's you. That's that. Six of Swords means peace in the middle of chaos. You're moving from chaos to peace. Like I said, this is a blow up for a glow up. I'm telling you, it's all about you now. It's absolutely all about you. No longer about him. No longer about his infidelity. Because I do believe he he's always had these options. Now you have options, and he knows that. That's why he's trying to hold on. Let's start at the very beginning. Here's a Tower card. It started off your reading. That Tower card lets me know this is a blow up. 
you're like done. I've had enough. You're tired of it. Here's this Queen of Wands. Like I said, Queen of Wands to me is wifey card. That's wifey card. Whether you're living with a long-term relationship, you assume the role of being that type of position of being wifey. But not only that, the Queen of Wands commands. She gets what she wants. And that's the energy that you have now. And it's like, ah, I know what I want and I know it's not you. <laughs> Or I'm done with you. The world card is here, which means you've completed a cycle. You've completed a cycle with this man. You are over with this relationship. And the death card sells it all. The death card can represent a Scorpio sun sign. But more than anything, that death card is about a transformation, a change. You've made the change. Mentally, physically, everything. It's done. It's over. It's a blow up. Now, here's the Seven of Cups here. Now, you have options where he's had options before with that King of Wands. He's been either been a husband, long-term committed relationship, at least committed you thought was committed, but he's always had other options. That's the reason why the blow-up. That's the reason why it's blo the blow-up. I do believe you've given him a chance, chance to get it right, but he didn't. I do see the Fool card here, and the Fool card is about a new beginning. It's about taking the risk and saying, hey, I'm stepping out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I've been faithful to you and I've been loyal to you, but I'm done now. He's trying to hold on. Look at this. He's fighting you. He doesn't want you to leave. Of course he doesn't. He doesn't want you to leave, but your mind is made up. He's not going to get, you're, you're gone because you're mentally and physically gone. You're gone. You're not coming back. And here's that hermit card. The hermit card is looking within yourself. It's, I love this card, how this card shows this woman, but look, she's got pink hair. She's all about, she's all about herself. That's what it is. You're looking in yourself now. You're figuring out, hey, I wore my glow up. I'm ready for my glow up. I'm ready for my options. You're ready. You're looking within yourself. You've gained wisdom. You've gained knowledge. And now here you are at the Six of Swords moving on to, to better things. And there is something that's better coming. I'm telling you, I see it. There's someone right around you that wants to love you the right way. That's just what I see. But when you heal, when you're ready, I'm telling you, there's someone around you. Let's see what my oracles have to say. But you're moving to peace and chaos because you figured out that you don't want this type of relationship ever again. So let's see what my cards have to say. Show me. Show me. What did I just say? I'm going to pull this card because it came out first. Opportunity. There's an opportunity that's coming up. There is someone that's that's coming up. Someone around you that is coming. Someone. I'm going to pull this card too because it's coming up. Forgiveness. I think you have to forgive in order to move on to the next relationship. And I think you absolutely will. You absolutely will. I'm going to pull this card. Trust. And I think you got to trust again. If you forgive, you can trust again. If you forgive, you can trust again. Wow. Look at this. There's something better. And the card right behind that is in the near future. I told you there is someone. I just know the spirit guys are just saying there's someone in your love space right now. They might not be right here right now, but there's someone that you're going to have a heck of a relationship with.